morning, CBC. We've made it to another Wednesday Coffee with Your Church. Yep. Good I'm morning. Mel. I'm Shauna. Say something intelligent. Oh, what's the, what's class. today, Shauna? Oh, today, National Day. Do, 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 do. Today is Creative Ice Cream Flavors Day. Oh, yeah. Vanilla is such a loser, too. I say that all the time. Vanilla is not a flavor. I know that it's I'll get emails. It's a base. There this is go. why we're friends. Yep. You can do lots of things with vanilla that you cannot do with mint chocolate chip. Well, think of a creative ice cream flavor, like outside the box. Can you think of? Well, I'm a huge fan of the Talenti. Well, I guess it's gelato. Does that count? No, it says. Ice it's cream. in the fancy. It's in the fancy plastic jar with the with the brown lid. Oh. It's uh. It's uh. That's gelato. Black. Yeah, black raspberry chocolate chip. That's my favorite at the moment. No, but ooh, creative. Okay, then creative. Then fish food from Ben and Jerry's. It's got No, caramel. I'm asking you to come up with your own. Oh. <laughs> Fish food is what I would make if I came up with my own. Creative it's got... cheddar cheese ice cream. That's gross. Okay, it's creative. Well, there's a place It didn't in... say gross ice cream. Okay, flavor. hang on. Hang... Okay, wait, wait. If we're going to be super creative, <laughs> then Rich had balsamic fig the other day, which is an actual thing. And I had in Austin, there's Amy's ice cream in Austin is like the big one that everybody thinks is all that in a bag of chips. And it's just not. I like lick better. Um, and oddly, their phrase is, I like lick. Um, carrot tarragon ice cream, which sounds gross. It's awesome. Next day. <laughs> is it still today's day? Yeah, it's still today's day. Okay, still today's And this days. could go with ice cream flavors, but it's ginger snap day. Oh, that could totally go with, yeah, ice, cream totally go with ice cream Even with my carrot tarragon. Yes, it could. That'd yes, be good. Ginger carrot tarragon, I, it would work. But, Stop okay. it. Uh, postal worker day. Oh, well, that's nice. I have no comment on that. Oh, I could. I was just, I was going to make a nice comment. We oh, could make a nice comment okay. for once in our oh, lives. Okay, let's. Hi, postal workers. Thank you for all that you do for us. We do understand that sometimes stuff doesn't get here on time, but that's not your fault. Oh, especially it's, now you know, with everybody, uh, everybody ordering online. And right, ordering all the things. So yes. thank you. You guys are now bringing us our groceries and Everything. t shirts and. And ice cream. Everything. And ice cream. Well, no, that's one thing I don't think. Do they do that? Yeah, they put the... Well, I guess their, Schwann's does that. Yeah, they put they, the, But they're not postal workers. No. And then it's, last but not, not least, not least. It's not least. Yes. Yeah, as I sit here sniffling, last least. but not least, yes. Posted stamp. Post... Postage stamp? I'm getting for clamped again. If there's still no R in that word. <laughs> we, will, we will work on the Yiddish stamp another day. Day. Well, that makes sense if it's postal worker day. You'd think they'd separate the days, though. Give the stamps one day and the people another day. I know. That's odd. Yeah. That's, it's a very USPS kind of day here, so. That's that's what I got. Wasn't very exciting, you know. I think you need to start looking at the week. Let us know if there's something good coming up. Oh. Well, I guess then we can celebrate. Okay, we, I could know. have done that. I could have, but I did. Well, you know, we've been at it for three months now. It's time to, you know, figure some things out. Okay, wait. Well, I did figure there was another. I found this the other day. What did you find? Um, it's called Lies My Mother Told Me. Really? Yeah. Lies My Mother Told Me. Where did you find that? It was on Facebook. Someone posted it. So it's just it. some little list. Yeah. So, um, and I start, I'll read you through these. And I think there's I, only... I know your mother. Did she actually say any of those? Yes. I know her mother. And, and Grandma Shannon did too. Oh. Okay. Um, I think there's maybe only one that I did not say. So, oh, this is things you've said to your kids too. Oh, yeah, it says lies my mother told me. It's okay, kids, so, so let's all admit if you're to the a mom, find we told it our children, yes. So, number one, it's illegal to drive with the overhead light on, and I remember thinking that. So, I don't know who told me that, mm. but I would freak, yeah, I remember like no, it, it's just stupid, and you can't see through well, the mirror. Well, at night, yeah, yeah, and I would like, I didn't I, think it was illegal. Somebody but. I was, well, I don't know who, who was in the car with me, but they wanted the light on, and I'm like. Oh, to read. Oh, I think it's been Aunt Jane. <gasps> Probably was. Aunt Jane? <laughs> and she wanted to read, and I'm like, you can't. No, it's oh. illegal to have the light on. So, anyway. You didn't even tell that to one of your kids. You told that to Aunt Jane. It yeah, was your right. Well, but who told me that? That's who I want to know. You know, I don't remember. No, I never Mom heard told one. me, or Grandma Shannon told me. See, all I remember is my dad yelling at me, turn that off, I can't see. Well, that's how I feel, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, number two, if you swallow your gum, it will stay in your stomach for seven years. I, I heard that. I think I did tell Sarah that, that anyway. Sarah's her firstborn, yeah. so she said a lot of stupid things because we all do. <laughs> Number three, keep making that face. 
Air it'll freeze, stay like, it'll it'll freeze stay like, like that. that. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. one I did hear, but that I, I know. Yeah. I think I told them that one. Yeah, um, I did hear. I heard that one. Every mom says this. I have eyes in the back of my head. Okay, I have a funny story about that one. So I taught fifth grade for two years in Phoenix, and they all swore that I had eyes in the back of my head. But I have news. I think you do. No, the same fifth grader who kicks his desk while you're looking is the same fifth grader who kicks his desk when you've got your back turned and you're looking at the board. <laughs> so when you're writing on the board, and the same kid, we'll call him for the sake of this, Fred. Sure, Fred. Um, and you're standing at the board writing things on the board, and you go, Fred, quick, kick in your desk. They're like, How does she know? She's magic. No, it's just the same kid. They do it all the time. They don't care if you're watching or not. So, yeah. I That's gotcha. the secret there. I know you've, we've all said this. We've all said this. You can't swim for 30 minutes after you eating. Eat. And is that really true? Yeah. Is it? We have the internet now. No. Somebody should actually know the answer to that yeah, question. Someone Google that. Okay. And then... I grew up hearing this. Don't sit so close to the TV. You oh, the that eyes. one I heard a lot. Yeah. That and one thing our children will never, ever know. Walking up to a TV and having to turn the dial. Yeah. And I'd get yelled out for that one, too. Or bribing your sibling, you know, to go turn the... To go be the remote? To turn up the volume. Or, right. You know, it was usually me that had to do it because Tammy's... I know. I was an oldest, so I never had to do that. I had younger siblings to go be the remote. <laughs> Number seven, I don't have a favorite child. Oh, see, <laughs> now that one my kids know is a lie. We never said that. We told our kids who the favorite was and they would compete. I really highly recommend it as a yeah, parent too. I, I mean, I know most books would tell you not, but telling your kids exactly what, how they rank and why is a lot more life realistic, I think. After I said that, I can just hear all four of them. Yapping in my little head right now. Yeah. Right now, um, yeah, that includes our foster daughter, Heather. Um, right now, um, sh she was in the lead, but um, oh. Shauna's daughter was actually staying with us for, for a short time at, across Father's Day as well. And um, since she got my husband the nicest card and the nicest gift, Shelby won Father's Day this year. Oh, wow. And none of my four kids rated. Um, and they know that. They, they have text messages that say that Shelby won and wow. that she's our favorite. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Way to go, Shivers. Yeah, our oh, favorite child. Okay. Oh, this is, yeah, I'm really guilty of this one. I'm just running into the store for one thing. I've never said that ever I to know. a child or anybody else. Oh, yeah, probably more so to Steve, but yeah. Yeah, with a spiritual gift of sarcasm and of shopping. Um, yeah, we... <laughs> One thing is never possible for me. Number nine, a watermelon will grow in your stomach if you swallow the seeds. Stupid. Never said that. No, but if you squish the seeds, you can shoot them at each other. Yes, true. Mm -hmm. That's fun. Spit them. That's gross. Actually, I can't believe Water you can spit anything at anybody. You're a little bit of a germaphobe. Are you aware of that? I know, but you know, like the watermelon spitting, they have those watermelon seeds. Yeah, not that contest. I would participate in. Okay. I would just shoot them at people. Number 10, maybe I'll think about it, which we all means no. No, 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 no. Actual real piece of parenting advice here. Never, ever, um, this, when, you, when you go through to um, be a foster and adoptive parent, you get to go to classes. Um, other people just get pregnant, you get to take classes about it. And so one of the parenting classes that we took said, never, ever discipline a child in anger. No, because you no. do that thing where you go, that's it, you're grounded until you're 27. And then they're like, oh, my birthday party's tomorrow. What are you going to do? Now, we do have a friend oh, who okay, actually okay. had a child sit out a birthday party of their <gasps> own. I know. They were hardcore. Randy and KJ, if you're watching, I'm talking about you. You guys rock it. Um, talk about letting your yes be yes and your no be no. Nobody would come against y'all. Um, but no, the, the line that we were taught to say, this is a really great one for parents that I give very, very little marriage advice and I give very, very little parenting advice because everybody's kids are different and everybody's marriage is different. Very little. Um, saying to a child that you're really, really upset with, um, wow, that was a bad choice. There's going to be a consequence. Try not to worry about it. I'm and then you my... leave. Wait. And then you I'll leave them. i think about it later. And then you leave them. No, no, no. Try not to worry about it is the most important part of oh, that phrase. Yeah, okay. because you're actually doing like a reverse psychology thing on them. 
So yeah, and then it gives you time to get really super creative. And then they don't know when you're going to come back. Could be five minutes, could be tomorrow with whatever the consequences. That is why my mom would say, go sit in your room. I'll oh, yeah, be that's there true. in a minute. And it was never a minute. It was like forever. Ever. Yes, that's the real reason. That's the real reason. See, we all think timeout's the punishment. Timeout's not the punishment. Timeout is your chance to like go figure out what's really going to make them insane and not put yeah. you in timeout as well. Because how many times have we done that as parents? I don't think I really, I mean, I think they did a couple times, but I thought the timeout thing was stupid. Oh, no, the timeout thing is stupid. But I mean, like, how many times have we given our kids some sort of punishment that then ended up oh, being yeah. a problem for us? A lot. I've done that. Yeah, I've done it a lot. You know, and you end up getting yourself in. So or dad have would time to reprimand, think. and then I'd have to rein it back in because yeah. I thought it was too much. Or Yeah. Okay. yeah. So. But if you talk about it before, you just tell them. There's going to be a consequence. Yeah. Try not to worry about that. And then you come yeah. back afterwards. It gives you time to be creative. You wow. can call your friends. I really screwed. They're all adults now. I can't do I can't do it. Redo. But. Oh. We have a big announcement. I'm going to be a grandma tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yep. Sarah Thank you for is going in. in. Right. First thing in the morning. C-section. So please first pray. Grandparent, pray, pray. First grandparent. First grandparent. First grandchild. First grandchild. First grandchild. So uh, very exciting. I am very excited. Grandchildren are the best. I went from double income, no kids, to grandparenthood in four years. I really, really well, I will never don't recommend have to it. Punish my grandbaby. He will be. Perfect. Oh no 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 no! There's no such thing as as, no. as punishing a grandchild. They're sugaring up a grandchild and then giving it back to the child who yes. made your life miserable for twenty something years. Well, in my case, for a dozen or yeah. so years. We started a lot later. My youngest was six when I got him. So, wow. um, oh, wait. Matt, you're adopted. Just thought you should know that. <laughs> Sorry. That's one of his favorite. The major but, bummer is, is because of COVID. Which, yeah. when did we start calling it COVID? Because wasn't it Corona? So, is it Corona or is it COVID? I, you know? The virus. Corona. Co I think we're we just lazy. We can't go in and see him, you know, until she gets home. And yeah. So stupid. But anyway. So please pray. I think, you know, that everything goes, goes well, well and, yes. and, and she can recover quickly to get home because it's all about me and I need to see my baby boy. I know. <laughs> I can't wait to see the pictures okay. tomorrow. See, if today had been Friday, then you'd have pictures already, but we don't have those yet. So next time you'll have pictures. Yes. So, well, that's good. So that's all I got today. You that's know, it. I've got the national day. We At least you're wearing a watch. There was a clock in here, but there was no battery in it, and so now I have no idea what time it is. It's almost 9.15, right? That's right. short for us. I know. So we went through, well, you know, National Day, and then yeah. things your mom or parent would lie about. Yeah. Talk about Sarah. Yeah. And we kind of... Yes, before the, before I didn't July. realize, but, you know, close enough. Well, that, and I realized the other day, because I do do my makeup for all this, so that I don't look like a hag in front of y'all. Um... But I realized the other day that I probably haven't worn a dress in... No, right, that's why I, I, when yeah, you walked April, in, I asked if you were going somewhere afterwards. Yeah, I just <laughs> I was just tired of looking mushy in the jeans and stuff and with the makeup and everything. This is actually easier. You, you just get fancy. Well, but this is like, you know, putting on a nightshirt or something. Yeah. There's no buttons, no zippers. You just throw it over your head. Look at me, I'm dressed and look fancy today. Yes. But And, so and you know, in, in um, honor of... Fourth of July, July, which is upcoming, you see, but we even well, like... Well, kind of. This is, I mean, I'm close enough. It's blue and red. I, know, I don't think that's white. red. That's like... That's red. That Let's help Shauna learn her colors. Is it blue and red? I mean, I there's pink and yellow in there, I too, but not a lot. kind of mango-y. Mango-y. I don't think we have any mango-y books to compare right. it to. That's so I can tell you no. What's that? Mango's are Okay, Pris, it's it's like a, it's like a pinky red. From here, it looks red, red, right. and maybe blue. Okay, well, we'll see. So you look like you had it all together. You could have just said, "Yes, I have it all together. I wore red, white, and blue also in flowers," and we would be like opposites because I've got a red field with blue together. flowers, and you've got the the blue field with the red flowers. See? I always have it all together. I'm glad one of us does. It takes a lot for this to happen. So. so do you think maybe, oh, I don't know, just a thought. We should do a devotion? We could, mm -hmm. but that would really cut things short for us, comparatively speaking. Oh, fooey. Oh, well, Megan's looking at us like, wrap Does it up, anybody folks. care? Is anybody online today? We can't tell. I know. Until, unless they let us know. Do we get a hint? That's it? We have six? Fourteen. Oh. <laughs> 
forgot that there were double digits there. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Our producers here are doing a lovely job. But anyway. Like I guess I don't know my colors or my numbers. Then again, just because 14 of you watch right now doesn't mean anything for later. So hi to everybody else who's watching later. Oh, thank you. I, let, shall we take guesses on who's online? <laughs> Katie Petroni, hi. Yeah. Uh, um, anybody from your family? Rich, hi. Oh. Yeah, we got two. Got, got Rich. Oh, hang on. I got Hold two on. out of 14. Like I... Josh Whitfield says hashtag Jean for president. <gasps> Poo Kid is watching. He's so going to appreciate that. I know. That'd I know. be her nephew, for those of you who know hey, Josh. Dashie. This is this is Aunt Shauna. Kathy, get on with the devotion. Yeah. Oh. Kathy, yes, yes, oh, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. I'll come to your house later and cough on you. I know where you live. It's, it's pretty unanimous. Everyone would like you to proceed with the devotion. <laughs> Family. Ouch. Oh, we dropped it this week. Wow. I thought we were doing what? Dude, we announced a baby. What is wrong with you people? Can't you yeah. get behind that? Be excited for Shauna. Any amens for Shauna and I think, Sarah there? What the heck? I think. I don't think I'm swelling up or I don't know. What's wrong? From their hurt. I know. Their hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, okay, whip out your device. Fine, then I'll do I had one planned, but Mel ixnayed it, so. Wait, you, know. you can read. You, uh, Shauna, okay. has, Shauna okay. had a passage of scripture. Shauna's had Mel. a little bit of a difficult time lately. There was a reason that her, her daughter, Shelby, was living with me and Sydney for sure. all had had a day. All. Yes, Everybody. things have been weird around here. Yes. But Shauna has been weird. without air in her car and without water at her home because of a well issue. So it's been particularly... It, we, we, we all have woken up every day and it's been a new thing. It could be small, but it was just another thing. It was like, what now? Right. Okay, I'm afraid to go to bed because I'm going to wake up and it's going to be another, another thing. thing. And it was. Do you know what we call that in my house? We have a term for that, not wanting to go to bed so that the next morning. Okay, so oh, you're Chris, telling me Christmas. Yeah, because yeah. like Christmas Eve, everybody does what? You go to bed when? Early. Early, because right, you got, cause, Santa's, cause you got coming. Cause Santa's coming. Santa's coming, and you got to be up for the next morning. When you don't want the next day to come, you have what we call in our house anti Christmas, which means that yes. I don't want to go to bed because if I go to bed, that means tomorrow I'm going to get up and then I'm going to have to deal with the yeah. next day, and I'm not ready yeah. to deal with the next day yet. It's just, so, it was just crazy. It, yeah. And it's, I don't. I'm seeing, like what I was going to say is, you know, I was praising God through all of it because oh, even yeah. though all this junk was happening, I could see his work, you know, for the good going. But again, it was, it was, it was it still getting. It stinks when you go through it. It was getting rough and I was about ready to throw my heads, hands up and, and have a come to Jesus moment with God. You know? Yes. <laughs> it was like, um, I don't know how much more I can take. Yeah. And then woke up one day and things just started. Oh. Rolling into place, and and now her kids don't live at my house anymore. So that was, you know, whatever. It worked though. I was very grateful. Very. Yeah, grateful. So were we. We had other people to I let know. the dogs out and feed them. It was like having our own personal. And now, now we're all back together, and it's it's funny when <laughs> it's well, it's funny what happens when kids don't live at your house when they live at somebody else's house. When kids live at somebody else's house, they do all the things that they won't do at your house. Oh, can I help you with the dishes? Yeah. Oh, can I go clean the litter box? Oh, would you Isn't like me to get the dogs for a walk for you? Mm -hmm. It'd be lovely, but yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, she's not mine, so that's why she did all that stuff. Uh, I know. Okay. They're all awesome. Yeah, that's the other thing that happens. For those of you who are not yet parents, your children will go to other people's homes, and they'll tell you what wonderful, well-behaved children they are, and you'll be like, who? Yeah, who are you Ooh. talking about? I don't know who that is. I get to the devotional. Okay, fine, except People for you, Kathy crazy. Davis, because I know your kids. Oh, I know who might be watching. Uh, I mean, Michael's a super genius, so whatever. Patty Gonzalez. Oh, is Patty G watching? We don't know. She hasn't commented if she is. Oh, oh no comments. Patty, if you're out there watching, you need to comment so that we know. We'll, set, we'll send you okay, a shout-out. Okay, get out. to the real stuff. Fine. So once again... Thank you. So much better. So once again today, we're doing Every Moment Holy because for some reason, Shauna does not want to share the scripture that she got, which is from James, that just said she was going through a super tough time, but I'm going to praise you anyway, Lord. Right? Pretty much. And then the hookabooky one. That's, that'll be next time. Never mind. Sorry. Shana found out that Habakkuk is in the Bible. She was unaware of him, regardless of Christian school and going to church. Yeah, I Not was a lot a of preaching out of Habakkuk. I told her it wasn't a great passage because it talked about not having crops and not having fields and all that kind of thing. And I thought, for any potential farmers that might be watching, they might take that a little personally. So... 
I got it from a metaphorical yeah, standpoint. Yeah, that's where I was going. With you know, that, yeah. from a medical metaphorical standpoint, it's totally right where she was, but it seemed a little much. For, okay. You know. Okay. Fine. So we'll go with Every Moment Holy, which is one we didn't write. Um, and I won't even make you read along with today because you didn't bring your book upstairs. And, no, and so it's about a page and a half, this one. So just word of warning. But I like this one. But it, it kind of went along with what you were saying. Too. Yes, it did. I read so, it. Yes. So, um, yeah. This, the, this, what I'm reading is from, if you happen to have Every Moment Holy, it's from page 60. It's a liturgy for the labors of community. Um, and just in light of what the world is going through right now, it was well, the other reason that I had chosen it. Because we kind of don't know what the end game is here. We don't know what's going on. But let's, let's go for it anyway, even though I don't have glasses. So we'll see how I do. Are these, re these aren't readers, are they? No, they're old people glasses, but... They don't know. help. Okay, sorry. Not with my contacts anyway. But thank you for the offer. No problem. Our lives are so small, O oh Lord. Our vision is so limited. Our courage so frail. Our hours so fleeting. Therefore, give us grace and guidance for the journey ahead. We are gathered here because we believe that we are called together into a work we cannot yet know the fullness of. Still, we trust the voice of the one who has called us. I thought working here, that was also mm -hmm. appropriate. And so we offer to you, O oh God, these things. And this is good for all of us. Our dreams, our plans, our vision. Shape them as you will. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Our moments and our gifts may be the... Uh, one more time. Our moments and our gifts, may they be invested toward bright, eternal ends. Richly bless the work before us, Father. Shepherd us well, lest we grow enamored of our own accomplishment or entrenched in old habit. I've never done either one of those two things before, so I don't know what they're talking about. I didn't think you had that issue. No. Uh -uh. Instead, let us listen for your voice, our hearts ever open to the quiet beckonings of your spirit in this endeavor. Let us in true humility and poverty of spirit remain ever ready to move at the impulse of your love in paths of your design. Um, interesting side note here. Let us listen for your voice. Our hearts ever open mm -hmm. to quiet beckonings of your spirit in this endeavor. I recently heard it said that if prayer is talking to God, then meditation is listening. Um, I don't know. You know, I know a lot of times we hear the word meditation and we think very Eastern philosophy there. But yeah, but... If you think of meditation as actually being yeah, quiet, yeah, I get that. I thought that was that a was, much better. Yeah. I thought it was a much better way to think of meditation as a Christian I myself. I, I agree. I like that one. Mm -hmm. You alone, O oh God, by your great, gracious and life-giving Spirit, have the power to knit our imperfect hearts, our weaknesses, our strengths, our stories, and our gifts to one another. Unite your people and multiply our meager offerings, O oh Lord, that we might resound to your glory. May our acts of service and creation, frail and wanting as they are, be met and multiplied by the mysterious workings of your spirit who weaves all things together toward a redemption more good and glorious than we yet have eyes to see or courage to hope for. So more than we even have courage to hope for. May our love and our labors now echo your love and your labors, O Lord. Let all we do here in these our brief lives, in this our brief moment to love, in this work you have ordained for this community, flower in winsome, rich wisely, winsome and beautiful foretaste. That's one of his favorite words. Oh. We should be winsome Christians, not sour. Anyway. Winsome. Winsome, lose some. Yes, because if we were winsome, we would win some. Anyway, it could happen. Backing up just a little bit. In this work you have ordained for this community, flower in winsome and beautiful foretaste of greater glories yet to come. O Spirit of God, now shape our hearts. O Spirit of God, now guide our hands. O Spirit of God, now build your kingdom among us. That's there. good. I know. Thank you, Thank you Thank people you. who wrote this, because you guys are geniuses. I know this thing's been very awesome. Yeah. Uh, Douglas Kane McKelvey. Douglas Kane McKelvey, thank you so much. You. Your words are really beautiful and very, very uplifting, Good even yes. in tough times. So, where are we at, Minnie? We are at uh, 9.25. See, that's a lot closer for us. Mm -hmm. You want to pray? You want me to pray? Go for it. Okay. Then I'll pray. We've now devoted. Now I will pray. So there. Dear Lord, Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thanks for all the blessings you've given us. Thanks for... 
learning to look for you even in the trials and troubles that we have sometimes. And thank you that we get to meet Owen tomorrow. Hooray! I know I don't get to meet him, but I get it. Okay, picture. You're still going to get a clearer picture than you've okay, had okay, to this point. So it's going to be okay. okay. I know. And Sarah and Mike get to meet Owen tomorrow. So he was a collective. Yay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, so thank you, Lord, for Owen. Please um, keep Sarah safe tomorrow and, and just let Mama and Baby be be safe and happy and healthy and out of the hospital quick yes. so that we can meet him in yes. person even if it's through a window. Yes. So, Lord, again, just thank you for this day. Thanks for all the blessings you give us, not just babies, Lord, but just all the other little things in between that we are too silly or too quick to even notice, Lord, because you give us so, so many good things um, from flowers blooming and dogs walking to babies being born and every other miracle in between. So, Lord, right now we just lift up all of our um, prayers and praises to you, the prayers of the day for all those watching, for those who will be watching. Let them have great days themselves out there. And we just pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you all. See you next time. See you next time. Hopefully sooner than three weeks. Next time I'll be a grandma. <laughs>